Well, looks like you just got yourself a new PC. Exciting stuff. So now I bet you're really ready to boot it up and start gaming. But wait, what? The computer doesn't just boot to Windows? Oh no, the PC didn't come with Windows already installed on it. Bummer. Well, I mean, how hard could installing Windows 10 be? So you need to install Windows 10 on your PC. Now I realize this can definitely be a bit of a daunting task for some of you out there that haven't done this process a hundred of times like I have, so I'm here to help you through it. Let's start by discussing the ways you can obtain your Windows 10 software. Now if you already have a Windows 10 activation code, you can just go ahead and skip this part and just go to the installation part of the video by using the timestamps I'll have for you in the link below. But if you're someone who clicked on this video because you want to find out how to get it for extremely cheap or even free, go ahead and stick around. Now let's first talk about that free option I just mentioned. Yes, you can actually download Windows 10 for free and use it just fine without paying for anything. And no, I'm not lying here, the free option actually works, but it's not without its limitations though. You'll run into the infamous activate windows watermark at the bottom right corner of your screen that always shows up. And then you'll also not be able to change the background of your PC and are limited to only the default windows wallpapers. So pretty much all the customization options in your PC are locked when Windows isn't activated. Additionally, you won't be able to customize and configure your start menu or your taskbar either, which can actually be very annoying if you like things a certain way and you like to customize a lot of stuff. But if you're someone who really doesn't care, you can actually use Windows 10 in the free version pretty much forever and you can actually receive updates from Windows as well. They'll just constantly prompt you all over the place to activate it. Now, what if you're someone that actually does want to activate Windows and be able to use every option to customize your PC that we just talked about? Don't worry, I have a way to get you a fully licensed activation key for a fraction of the price that Microsoft charges for it. The way that I activate Windows on all of my PCs is by using a site called VIP URCD key. Now, VIP URCD key is a long time sponsor of my channel, and if you guys have been around, you've probably seen this ad a million times, but I just wanted to let you new people know that I've been using their Windows 10 code since 2019, and they have been nothing but great, and I've been nothing but happy with them. Now, I'm not just expecting you guys to go ahead and take my word for it, and just go buy a key, so stay with me if you're on the fence about buying CD keys from resellers such as this. If you want to buy a Windows 10 key, you essentially have two options depending on what you want to do. You can choose to purchase an OEM key, which essentially means that the key you buy is a one-time use and cannot be transferred to another PC. That is why these keys are typically cheaper and are really my go-to option for computer builds, especially the ones that I resell. Now you also have the option to purchase a retail key. Now the only difference here is that these keys are actually transferable and can be used on a completely different system unlike the OEM keys. Uh, and you can do this should you wanna upgrade your PC later on or get a completely different system and then use the same key. Now if you're a little bit convinced and you wanna go ahead and go through the purchase process, let me take you through the process on their site. When you get to the homepage, you'll see that there is actually a lot more on the site than just Windows 10 keys, so feel free to browse and find something else that you might like as well. But of course, it's Windows 10 we're after here in this video, so you just need to go ahead and type in Windows in the search bar and press enter. Now you'll see a bunch of options for Windows 10 keys come up, so go ahead and navigate to the one you want. Now this is where you'll have the option to go ahead and pick an OEM key should you want it, a retail key, or maybe even a key that is bundled with Microsoft Office. So like I said, go ahead and select the product you want and click buy now. This will take you to the cart page. From here, you have the ability to go ahead and enter a promo code. So now you can go ahead and enter my promo code RAV20 and then press apply. You'll see the savings instantly appear and now you'll be able to grab a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for less than 15 bucks. And anything else you might wanna go ahead and buy, you'll get an awesome discount as well. So after this, go ahead and click on submit order and select your preferred payment method. I usually always use PayPal for my orders and I highly recommend it, especially for someone that is not keen on submitting your credit card info on sites like this. From there, you need to go ahead and click on your profile in the top right hand corner and go to the user center. In the user center, you'll need to click on my purchased orders. In that window, you'll see the key you just purchased and then you just need to go ahead and click on view keys and codes. And now don't worry if it doesn't instantly appear. Sometimes your order may take a few minutes to go through depending on what kind of payment method you used and they had to you know, go ahead and contact 
track your bank and stuff like that. So just give it a second. All right, so if you're at this part in the video, I will assume you have your key. So we'll go ahead and now go through with our Windows 10 installation method. So the way I like to go ahead and download Windows 10 is going to the Windows 10 download page and downloading the Windows 10 installation media to a USB with at least eight gigabytes or more of space. And on this page, they have an extensive list of directions to help you out if you guys are already confused about what I'm saying. So go ahead and read all that, it's right there for you. Now, once you finish the installation of Windows to your USB, you go ahead and then insert that USB into the PC that you want to install Windows on and simply restart it. Your PC should automatically detect the software installation and take you to the Windows installation prompt. And if it doesn't, you can go ahead and go into your BIOS as well and find that USB stick and click boot from there. And now from here, you can simply click through the prompts until you get to the prompt that asks for your CD key. And now this is where you're going to go ahead and uh, choose choose the option that you wanted to go with with your installation. So if you're deciding to go the free route like we talked about, you simply just click, I don't have a key, and you continue. And if you did end up purchasing a key through VIP URCD key or some other way, you can go ahead and type the key in here, so then it will automatically activate after you finish the installation. Next, on the software selection screen, make sure you select the exact version of Windows that you purchased. Now guys, it is very important that you do this so your CD key that you purchased matches the software that you install. If you guys don't do this, it's gonna mess things up and you're gonna find that it gets very wonky. Now after that, go ahead and choose the hard drive you want to install Windows on. Usually this will be whatever drive you intend to be your boot drive for your system. Now once that installation is actually finished, there's a ton of options that come up, but this is all personal. You can go ahead and fully customize the way you want your Windows installation. Uh, so it's really up to you guys. It's, it's completely preference, so I'm not gonna go ahead and go through all that here. Now once the installation is done, you can go to the activation settings page and check that your Windows is activated and is genuine and linked to your Microsoft account. And of course, if you didn't enter your CD key at this point already and you ended up buying a key later on, you can do it from this page as well and then you can go ahead and activate your PC. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty gritty here. I know a lot of you might ask, are these CD keys legit? Well, all I can do is tell you from my experience, I've used their keys on every one of my PCs for the last like three or four years, and even my own editing and gaming rig I have behind me, both those PCs have them. And to prove it to you, I'll let you go ahead and see that my gaming PC back there that I recently built on the channel is fully activated, and it originally had a Windows 10 Pro OEM key, and then I was even able to upgrade it to Windows 11 Pro OEM for free which now I'm running the whole PC on right now. So I can game to my heart's content on that PC without any issues, it's been great. So guys, to wrap this all up, I do want to be transparent with you guys and let you know that occasionally, just like with any other product, there may be a key or two that just don't work, okay? I get messages about this all the time and I never know if people are actually being genuine, like if they typed in something wrong or if they actually got a dud key. I personally have only had one or two keys not work for me from VIP URCD key in the past three years that I've worked with them buying countless amounts of keys for my computer builds. And now the first one, I reached out to their customer service and I was quickly given a replacement key that worked perfectly. The second one, I was even able to call Microsoft and get them to activate it for me. So guys, these keys are actually so legit that if you call Microsoft and something's wrong and it won't activate, they will actually be able to fix it for you and they can't tell the difference anyway. So all I can say is URCD key is also really good at making things right. So if you guys end up getting a key that does not work, just reach out to them and they'll fix it for you. All right, anyway, that'll conclude this video, you guys. I hope you all found this helpful. And if you did, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me how your experience went. I love hearing about this stuff and I always am here to help you guys. And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button with those notifications on so you'll always see my new content coming out. I love all you guys and I will catch you next time.